In question number 27, we will apply cos c plus cos d. Let us consider cos x plus cos 3x first. It gives us 2 cos 2x into cos x plus. Now, cos 2x plus cos 4x gives us 2 cos 3x into cos x equals to 0. We will take 2 cos x common. Now, we have cos 2x plus cos 3x equals to 0. Now, cos 2x plus cos 3x, we can write it as 2 cos 5x by 2 and cos x by 2 equals to 0. Now, cos x is 0 gives us two solutions. One is pi by 2 and other is 3 pi by 2. By cos 5, cos x by 2 equals to 0, let us consider first, x, if x is pi, it will become pi by 2. The next will be 3 pi by 2, but 3 pi is not possible for us to take. So, we will consider x as pi only. Now, the cos 5x by 2 part, cos 5x by 2 will be 0 when 5x by 2 is equal to odd multiple of pi, 2n plus 1 pi by 2, cancel 2. Your x is odd multiple of pi by 5. Now, just count them. The first one is pi by 5 and 3 pi by 5, 5 pi by 5 already considered, then 7 pi by 5 and 9 pi by 5. Now, count the solutions. These are 7 solutions. So, the right choice will be 4. Question number 28, the expression will be 1 under 3 situation. If power is 0, second case is the base is 1 or third case is base is minus 1 and power is an even integer. In the first case, we have x as minus 10 and 6 as the product is minus 6 minus 60 and the sum is minus 4 and for these values of x the base is positive 2 so a positive number raised to the power 0 will give us 1 therefore both are acceptable when it is equals to 1 this gives us x equals to 1 and 4 now, whatever be the power, it will satisfy the equation. In the case of minus 1, the x are 2 and 3. But when we substitute 3 in the equation, we can see base is minus 1, but the power is an odd number, negative odd integer. So, it is not going to satisfy the equation. We will reject this one and add all these values of x. So, the sum comes to be 3. So, the right option is 2. In question number 29, let us sketch the regions first. I will sketch the circle because x square plus y square less than equals to 4x basically represent x minus 2 whole square plus y square less than equals to 4. So, the portion inside the circle whose center is 2 comma 0 and radius is 2. This is a diameter 2 comma 0 and that parabola y square equals to 2x is passing through these two extremities 2 comma 2 and this is 2 comma minus 2. So, this is the parabola. We have to find out the region inside the circle but outside the parabola in first quadrant only. So, it is the only portion which we are going to calculate. This is quarter of the circle. So, this area we know. What we have to calculate is this dotted area. To calculate the dotted area, I will integrate this expression root 2 x from 0 to 2. 
and I will subtract this area from quarter of the circle pi r square by 4. Now just calculate it, it is pi root 2, this is 2 by 3 times x power 3 by 2, x power 3 by 2 gives us 2 root 2 0 is finished. Now this is pi minus 8 by 3 and pi minus 8 by 3 is a third option. So the answer is 3. Question number 30. First of all, we will calculate the function fx plus 2f1 upon x is equal to 3x. If we replace x by 1 upon x, the new equation will be f1 upon x plus 2fx is equal to 3 by x. This is first equation, this is second. Now using second in first, I will obtain fx f1 upon x I am replacing in the equation 1, fx plus 2, 3 by x minus 2 fx is equal to 3x, fx minus 4 fx is 3 fx, I considered it on right hand side, now it is equals to 6 by x minus 3x, cancel 3 and obtain f x, it's 2 by x minus x. We can see it is an odd function. We have to find out the solutions of f x equals to f minus x and f minus x is minus f x. So for s, because they are calling it s, so for s, f x equals to f minus x and I am writing f minus s x minus f x. So the solution of this equation represents the solution of f x equals to 0 f x equals to 0 gives us x equals to plus minus root 2. So there are two distinct values of x. So the right option is 4.